looking at your stock reaction today, you know, analysts are reacting pretty positively in their notes, but clearly investors are, are hitting the sell button a little bit. Do you think they're misreading the data or missing something there? You know, we have to take the long view about uh, what we're doing. And I think what you saw today is that, as you noticed, it's been a, it's an exciting day for us. And if you look at the data we presented, they're really very strong data. And, you know, we've been dedicated to advancing programs in brain health. And uh, admittedly, there's sometimes the data is complicated, but Right today, we know we're now in, in the position to not only have a marketed product, Zoreso, but also three new assets in the clinic, or three assets in the clinic. So we're well positioned for success. So we were talking about your bipolar data, but you were also talking about starting a trial in, or a, a bigger trial in treatment-resistant depression. How did the data that you presented today influence what you think you'll go forward with next in terms of those uh, follow-on indications? The data that you're talking about refers to SAGE 217, which is our oral antidepressant. That drug's already had a positive pivotal program, both in major depressive disorder and in postpartum. And it continues to generate solid data. So we actually today un un unveiled uh, data in three indications. The first was bipolar. And in that indication, the drug performed as it always has, with a rapid onset and maintenance of effect even after the drug was stopped out to 42 days. But we also showed data in a subgroup of our, our, our two pivotal programs in what's called treatment-resistant depression. That's about 4 million new diagnoses a year, and it's the area of depression where there's the most significant unmet medical need. And what we saw there, which was very rewarding for us, is that the drug performed very similarly to how it performed in the general population. And so we thought, as we looked at the opportunity for depression, we also had data and anxiety, which also was very positive, but as we thought about how we're sequencing our portfolio, we feel that the greatest area of unmet medical need, as well as, frankly, the biggest commercial opportunity, was going to be in, in treatment-resistant depression. So we've made the decision to pursue that as our next indication. Mm. Jeff, as you explore and, and test in, in the various indications, do you start thinking, wow, this could be applied for, for this as well? I mean, I'm wondering, you know, in your mind, do you think the possibilities in terms of treating various depressive disorders you know, you, you don't really know what the full extent is at this point. You know, the potential for SAGE 217, as you say, is, is quite large. And one of the opportunities the company is facing is that because we have so many assets now in the clinic, we've, we've been really forced as an opportunity to take a deliberate decision-making approach to portfolio management. So our priorities for 217 are, frankly, to make it the most successful launch in depression that we can. But we also have very strong data in our other earlier molecules, SAGE 324 and 718. And so like, I think like any prudent business, we really don't want to put all of our eggs in one basket when we have four baskets to play with. Jeff, your next big moment is uh, some, some data from a pivotal trial in major depressive disorder expected in the fourth quarter or the first quarter of 2020. You've talked about that drug like an antibiotic, treating uh, sort of acutely uh, depression and potentially pricing that way too. As you're looking at the political pressure on drug pricing right now, what is your expectation as to how that'll influence how you can price something like that? You know, every company pays attention to macro factors. And of course, we're all concerned about the, the, the ecosystem that allows innovation in this country. But with respect to 217, we believe if it continues to perform the way it has, with rapid onset and durable effect, and not requiring chronic pharmacotherapy, that it really could be a game changer. It's premature to talk about pricing in that respect, but we feel that we should be able to price it for the value it'll provide for patients, really as a brand new antidepressant agent, the first of its class ever.